The year 2022 was the second year of the MATEC project. It was also the year when we finally met in person during the seminars, summer school or staff exchanges and accelerated the work in all working groups. We personally connected to each other and started to work also on smaller studies, presented results from the pilot study about the use of resources in mathematics teaching. We presented and published a framework developed by us for textbook analysis in terms of reasoning and proof. And finally, we conducted the intervention with the pre-service mathematics teachers in each institution. Let's have a closer look how we did it. We participated in several conferences where we presented the first results of the project. In February, it was the To Health Congress of the European Society for Research in Mathematics Education, the SEMA conference. Later, it was the ARI uh, conference, the ISO conference, and the ICERI conference. We also created a special track at the International and NATO conference in Palermo, where we presented the first result from the survey regarding in-service mathematics teacher use of resource for preparing mathematics lesson. In 2022, each mathematics institution organized at least one PhD sub-school and one seminar. For example, Charles University organized two PhD summer schools in May and in October and two seminars. Comenius University organized a seminar in September where all partners were present. University of Palermo and Metro organized online seminars and workshops and NDNU organized two local seminars. Moreover, young researchers from Bratislava and Prague presented parts of their research at the Czechoslovak International Exhibition of Research Results of Young Researchers. As Maria said earlier, this was an exceptional year for us, because the consortium finally met face to face for the first time. It started in April, when some members of the textbook analysis group met in Prague. Then in June, we were happy to host the whole consortium members in Ankara, in which 20 consortium members participated. During the second summer school, the research groups had the chance to work intensely on their research agenda face-to-face. -face. We also conducted an open face-to-face -face lecture uh, in which more than 50 local researchers around Ankara participated. We continued our face-to-face -face meetings in September in Bratislava. At the Bratislava meeting, we also exchanged ideas with another European Union project, Bridge to Teach. Dissemination of the project and its first results took place via social media, but also at international conferences and in local seminars or various local events like European Researchers' Night Sharper in Palermo or here in Trondheim when we celebrated 100 years anniversary of teacher education. During these events, we shared our knowledge with different stakeholders, in-service and pre-service teachers, teachers, educators, students and general public. This wouldn't be possible without the effort of every consortium member. Special thanks go also to in-service mathematics teachers who participated in the survey we conducted in all five countries and also to our teacher students who agreed to participate in our intervention study. All mentioned activities significantly helped us to strengthen our research position and accelerate the progress. Through these activities we learn a lot and we become a strong consortium. The last year of the project is upon us and we are looking forward to sharing our results with you. Therefore, do not forget to follow us on our social media.